Hi, everyone. How's everyone doing? <laughs> We're a tad late because it was my fault. I forgot to send Andre the link. It's those minor details. You didn't miss it by much. What, a minute, two minutes? <laughs> I'm sitting, you're usually right on time. I'm like, I'm going to talk trash about him in a minute. <laughs> and then I thought, oh, wait a second. Did I send the link? And when I was going to look, and I, I'm having a heck of a time signing on to comcast lately they've done uh, some weird they think it's an improvement but i can't find nothing hi everybody thanks for being here thank you hi hi island princess hi sandy so hey do we got something to talk about or what yeah i, I love so. it and if you'll notice mary garland said that this jack guy and i like the name jack <laughs> he, said, he said he will address everyone, not just Trump, anyone involved in the insurrection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. They're bouncing off the walls. The repubes, the they're bouncing off the walls. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, yeah. He's he said um, he said it didn't apply to the people that are being already prosecuted, the ones that. You know, broken to the capital, right? Not separate, but he, you know, basically pointed to all his helpers, people like Eastman and Clark and Giuliani and the Kraken Lady, and you know that whole crew, right? Because, right. You know, they're clearly involved. So there's that. But the other thing is that he said that and the record scandal. And my feeling is that the record scandal is easier because there is more ready available proof. And I don't know if you heard, but one of the things about this Jack guy is that he's prosecuted, I think he prosecuted someone in the CIA who mishandled uh, records. So <laughs> he's experienced right. in the matter. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so I'm sure Trump is thinking, uh-oh. <laughs> I know. What happened to our, um, our names on, oh, there you are, okay. So did you get a chance to look and see when Jack's birthday is or? I can't find that. I've looked and I don't see anything anywhere. There was a site that claimed to know what it was and they said 1943, which is not possible. The man That's is not 80 possible. years old. He's not born in 43. So I, I did see 1969, it said, uh, that in the Wikipedia entry, somewhere there's a mention, but there's no specific day yet. But I'm sure now that he's, you know, front and center, it, it'll be a matter of days before, before at least they put out where yeah. he was from. Yeah. Yeah, because there's some pictures he looks younger and some he does look older. Yeah, and he looks like a pretty focused guy. So yeah, and even some people said I was with him at the some and these people are in their late 50s, 60s. So he probably is in his 50s or 60s. Yeah, I, I I'm guessing it's probably true that the 69 thing sounds pretty accurate. He's probably yeah early fifties. Yeah. And, and I mean, the thing is this lines up with Trump's chart because the next, Oh, you I know, can't wait you guys. The point that comes up now in, in, in February, February, March is really, really tricky, you know, for being called to account. And so that's one de definite possibility that it comes down then in some major way, or just news emerges that, sort of cement the thing further. And it's not like they get things get better after that. They don't get better. There'll be lulls along the way, but I was looking at his patterns and they extend for years and years. You know, it kind of goes from one problem to another. It's almost like the planets are sometimes ganging up and sometimes playing tag team, like where one will leave, the other one takes over. Then they, you know, plow in together. 
it's just too complicated. You know, always in the context that, I mean, the man is a criminal. He's constantly committing crimes. So, you know, what happens when you commit crimes? Prosecutors look for you. It's not that complicated, you know. Um, Isn't that interesting, though? He did say because Trump announced his candidacy. I almost thought, uh oh, I mean, I almost felt that would push Merrick Garland like that might be something. And it was. And I, I had a reading uh, or I did root, read for the group. The last time I did a reading, I said something's coming up. Something for Trump is coming up. Like I felt like surprise. I even kind of felt like he would get hit. But we always talk about that. But he would get subpoenaed or something. I'm thinking January. How does January look for Trump? January works because like in astrology, when you have a an aspect locking in in February, January, pfft, this is like, I often say to people, astrology, think of it as like horses and grenades. You don't have to be, you know, right on the grenade. I mean, if it's in the room, you're in trouble. So once it's in the vicinity, because it's kind of the thing where sometimes you go, well, yeah, it happened exactly precisely when it the aspect right. closed. And other times it's more like, it's a little before and then he's screaming and yelling and then some February thing, you know, some other thing. But the main point is he's in trouble. That's it's, right. It's, it's great. So, yeah, so it, it works. Let's just say that. Yeah. I, I, I don't know why. And I usually don't get hits on times that well. But for some reason, I felt January. Yeah, and I yeah. felt M Mueller is going to get some satisfaction from this. Well, I mean, you think know, about we it. Can't compare Mueller to him, by the way. Uh, sorry, Jack, about you can't compare Mueller to Jack. No, no. Well, different situations. Like Mueller was really hampered by people like Barr. The, the entire Republican crew was trying to stop it. But now, uh, you know, there's no such thing. And you know, keep in mind, this guy's coming in, where Mueller had to go from scratch. And remember, it only took Mueller six months, and he started dropping indictments. Right? He was put in in May, and by December, you know, Flynn was going down, and the other person was going down. Only a few months. And Mueller had to do it from scratch, you know, getting all the info. This guy's been handed everything, videos, papers. I mean, he can walk in the room and just start looking at all the evidence. And then maybe he can call in some people, but he's got it already ready. So can you imagine? That's like a prosecutor's dream. You know, here it is, you know, all the crimes. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> why they are go they're going to defund. The, the, let me tell you, before they change houses, before the, the new people come in, there this guy will be plenty funded. Trust me. Yeah, I don't think. I mean, it, I'm it, not seeing any problems with funding. I see them moving heaven and earth to try to stop them, but they're not going to be able to. I mean, you know, the thing is that that part of what's going on I that I sense is there's deep division in the Republican Party because, for example, a guy like McConnell, even though he has said unbelievably, he said I would still back Trump because I'm obliged to, which is insane since the man is a criminal, but. I think McConnell would rather see him go. So if they start getting into games where we're not going to fund DOJ or some crazy thing like that, probably they'll get opposition from other parts of the party and it'll be too difficult to, you know, to carry. carry but I was, very, I was feeling very strongly that this new Republican House is not going to be all jumping up and down for Marjorie Taylor. Did you see she's making all these announcements like she's the chair, like she's in charge of them? Yeah, I mean, you know, what, what can end up happening, I mean, I'm not 100% sure of the mechanics, but if McCarthy has any brains at all, and I'm not sure that he does, that's part of the problem, because I think he's, <laughs> no, seriously, I mean, I'm not kidding. The man is not that smart. This is one of the reasons they're having so many problems, this party, right? right. But if you were smart, the way you threaten Marjorie Taylor Greene is you say, look, we just lost an election because of idiots like you, and so... There's no benefit to doing this. So if you're not going to back me, I'm just going to get Democrats and I'll pass legislation with them. And you know what? We're going to have better odds going into 2024 because if I follow you guys, we're going off a cliff. You know? Well, actually, so, McConnell said that out loud. He said the people have spoken. Yeah. Even if they're not thrilled with Biden, they weren't going to go to our side because of the chaos. Yeah, precisely. I mean, I, 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 I could, when you lose every... I mean... I mean, Trump is a genius. The man is unbelievable. All of his candidates lost. I mean, well, not maybe J.D. Vance. He got it. Well, he most importantly, all the um, who's the ones that are in charge of that voting? All of them lost. Oh yeah, the secretaries of state. Secretaries and, yeah. of state. Yeah, yeah. That was. 
<laughs> and Carrie Lake, you know, Carrie Lake with her. Oh, she's going to sue. Now, I mean, isn't it great when you say, well, I don't like the results. Okay, well then, first of all, you have two problems. One problem is that the people that are tabulating them are actually Republicans and they're telling you no, that they're right. fine. And then my second question is, where's your evidence? I mean, you're going to have to present something, you know, to show us. I mean, Oh, what... it's like, it's like uh, on Twitter, somebody said to me, I said something. They said, where's your evidence? Or show me your evidence. I can't remember what it was. And I said, oh, you mean like all those judges that asked all these people, where's the evidence that the, the, the thing was rigged? Where is it? Give us something so we can go on it. One guy even said, you know, he was Republican. He was for Trump. Sure. Yeah. He, they said, you got to do this and you got to do. Sure, sure. Now just send me something I can show them. Send me something that I can say, this is why we need to stop this process. And they never yeah. sent him nothing. It was in the car. It was doing this. When he said, to this day, I've never received it. Exactly. I mean, it's, it's, it's remarkable that to this day, the entire thing coming out of the Trump camp is, that there was fraud and they never show the evidence. All they, oh, it's just Trump saying, well, it's so obvious that there was. Well, no, it isn't. Show me something. <laughs> show me anything. Never. Not a peep. It was not like a single. What do you think of that announcement that Trump made? He was very low key. Yeah, although he's pretty agitated. I don't know if you saw that he says he's not going to partake in it, which is not his choice because you don't get to partake or not partake. When you're being investigated, you're partaking whether you like it or not. And then he said, <laughs> think, he said things like, uh, he goes, well, uh, we got to stop this. We can't let this happen. And, oh, this guy doesn't like Trump. You know, how, guy doesn't even know Trump. How does he know that Jack Smith likes him or not likes him? I mean. Oh, hell, you saw how bad they were on Mueller. And Mueller was a Republican, for Christ's sake. Yeah, that's, this is the, you know, the untold truth is the remarkable thing is this guy's been saying this for years about how Democrats are doing it. Democrats didn't do anything while he was in, in power because the Republicans were in charge. And Mueller's Republican, Comey's Republican, uh, Rosenstein Republican, they're all Republicans. And then right. you saw the January 6th committee, all Republicans again. So where are the Democrats? Exactly. You know? It's exactly. just, it's unbelievable. But you know, they, it's like he paints it and his followers, they don't care what he says. It, it's like a cult. It's like Jim Jones, you know, the next thing you know, he'll tell them, time to drink the poison and they're all drinking. I know, but might not be a bad Ron thing. Andre, three losses, three. Three, yeah. But he's lost all these houses. He loses, loses. Yeah. What is he going on? Well, I mean, by the way, I mean, I don't know if whoever, you know, that party is, maybe someone like DeSantis would be, will think if I go after this guy, it might damage my career. But if you go after him now, the way I would run against him and say, you're a loser. You do nothing but lose. So I, all I'm saying to the American people is if you vote for this guy, we're going to lose. You know, it's that simple. So... End of story. We're End of lose. story. But yeah, I do lose. think that Satan is nervous because I think Trump has something on him. Possibly, although yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah, that, that's an entire possibility. Though, what you know, in a way, with with Trump, even if he doesn't have anything on you, he'll start insulting your family. He'll start insulting you. Uh, you know, he's a scorched earth person. So if he doesn't have something, he'll make it up. That's the other thing. You notice how many things he makes up that just as he goes along, like, he lies while he breathes. Yeah, like, I mean, he, he keeps saying now the latest defense. One of them is that all the presidents, George H.W. Bush took the records to the Chinese restaurant. Uh, Bill Clinton took them to the other place. I mean, again, no proof of anything. It's like this is the party of like pigs fly and just believe me because I say so. There's no evidence. Can I all... ask you, is somebody like Marjorie Taylor Greene really upset because she's in on this? She was in on the insurrection and she's afraid? I would say so, because if you I'm recall, mm -hmm. wasn't that in the news? We saw in the news that um, uh, people like Matt Gates, he was asking for a pardon. Why is he asking for a they pardon? They were all, her too. Yeah, right, exactly. So now this guy comes in, right? And again, I keep reminding people, relax, it takes time. You know, uh, you saw this thing with um, the blood lady, Elizabeth Holmes. They first caught her in 2015. She just got convicted seven years later. They had everything. So what took seven years? That's the way the law is, right? So yeah. now this guy comes in, this Jack guy, and what, you think he's not going to look at Matt Gates and Gomert and, and Marjorie Taylor Greene? They were doing things. That's a fact. We know. So right. what are the odds that he's not going to find something or someone? Because the other problem is once you get one of these guys digging and digging, he's going to look for people that will point the finger at other people. 
right? So yeah, it becomes really scary. And, uh, you know, I sometimes say about Trump, couldn't happen to a nicer guy, but when it comes to her, couldn't happen to a nicer woman, right? Because, right. come on, I mean... So this, in, this investigation they want to do on Biden and Hunter and all that, I'm, I'm not feeling anything... Well, if you think about, about it, I think, unfortunately, our Democrats will show up. They'll show up and testify to Congress. Which Democrats? Unlike, unlike they're going to call in all oh, these. Oh, yeah. Movies. Okay. They're going to call, including Merrick Garland. And they're going to call them in and they're going to grill them. And unfortunately, they'll show up, unlike the Republicans who said, eh. Right, right. But okay, Merrick Garland, as soon as he appoints a special counsel, they're going to say, well, you got to tell us. He'll say, no, I can't because he's, he's doing it. It's still it. under investigation. Yeah. Under investigation, right? It's, it's how it is. So he, in a sense, has shielded himself. And as far as Hunter Biden, okay, so think of the logic. Okay, so Hunter Biden was in the news in 2020. And if you don't think that if there were something there, Bill Barr wouldn't have acted on it, then you're not thinking straight because Bill yeah. Barr was trying to help Trump any way he could. He didn't move on it. Why? Because there's probably nothing there or there's nothing. It's just like with the, uh, the Durham thing. Yeah, exactly. So you know, and if, if Hunter Biden has committed crimes, then he should be held accountable. That's just right. the way that's the way the world works. But I'm suspicious that maybe they're making a lot more you know noise than, than is warranted because Barr would have acted on it and he didn't. And right. since then, uh, nothing has been done. And I will see you know what these guys present. But my feeling is this is like Benghazi part two. Benghazi was a joke. I mean, I, they would ask these unbelievable questions they were saying to hillary clinton were you at home at two o'clock in the morning and she'd say yeah <laughs> <laughs> and by the way and by the way, way they even said they did that to ha try to this to hurt yeah. her ca to campaign hurt her. it was all yeah. deliberate yeah to hurt her and by the way that's the way see this is the thing there are shifting energies like back then that kind of approach brought some results. I'm not sure that that's the case anymore because one of the things that this, you know, this malevolent, you know, cockroach has accomplished for the country is that people are a lot more aware now. They pay a lot more attention and they're not as easily fooled. They're a lot more informed, you know, so they sift through things. Back then there was less interest. And so you could do a thing where because she's in the news and you're kind of pointing to her it lowers the ratings, but I'm not sure that's going to work anymore just because you haul someone before Congress, because now everyone knows what Jim Jordan is like and what, you know, Marjorie Taylor Greene is like and so forth. So it's not going to be as easy to do Benghazi. I really opinion. feel that this Jack guy has something on Marjorie Taylor Greene and, and um, Jim Jordan and that other guy, uh, Howell, Holly. Oh, Holly. Yeah. Holly's yeah. Another. I feel like I can see them being scattered or something going on with that, that they were all, I think this guy's even going to announce who got rid of the panic button underneath the desk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I see Trump getting hurt more with the, the records. Yeah. I see Congress yeah. people getting hurt and senators getting hurt with the January 6th. I don't know if they'll plug Trump 100%. I'm not quite sure. But I see big trouble with the uh, intel, stealing intel. Well, yeah, that, that's the logic, which, you know, makes it incredibly ironic when you think that this guy is, su you know, such a brilliant mind that, that he thinks he's Mr. Genius and he goes and hands the Department of Justice the perfect way you know, to bring them to justice because, right. you know, if things are a little more murky, it takes longer to establish cases or whatever. Uh, they say that, for instance, this guy that they have now, the Stuart Rhodes, the sedition charges, they're hard to make stick because you can always kind of you know, move around and say things that could be, well, it could be this, it could be that. But when it comes to records, there's nothing you can say. You're not allowed to do what he did, and you're not allowed to block the, the government from getting the records like he did. That's obstruction of justice. They were moving them around. This is not a good plan at all, right? And also so, he announced out loud, yeah, I took them because they're mine. Yeah. Well, by the way, the latest argument his lawyers put through, you always kind of wonder, like, where did he get these ideas? It yeah. must be them, you know, ordering them to make the case. And the latest argument is that because he took them their heads, basically. The logic is he's like all powerful. So once he goes out the door, they're declassified and he owns them. They're not government records, which is the opposite of what the law says. It's like almost like arguing, 
I'm allowed to walk into a bank and rob it just because I think I can. <laughs> right. But I mean, come yeah. on. Come on, please, you know. So do you think they'll actually get McCarthy as chair or whatever he's supposed to be? Well, okay, be? so here's the thing about McCarthy, right? McCarthy has a very difficult chart in 2023. Very, very problematic. And so at minimum, it's going to be total chaos. But there is a very good chance he gets bounced or stopped or, you know, thrown out because it's hard. It's hard stuff. It's not an easy situation. And, it, and it's something we already see, you know, even before we get to 23, because we know that I think, what is it, 187 out of 218 or 220 voted for him, but he has to get 218 to become speaker. Right. Yes. But I see, mark my words, and we got 2,589 witnesses here. Mark my words, I really feel that not the whole group is going to be, yeah, let's get Hunter, let's do, I'm almost feeling some more rational. Not everybody's, and some people don't, a lot of them don't want Trump. Yeah, well, you know, one thing is that I, I've always felt from, from a Biden's chart that the energy gets smoother, and you would normally think now since the Republicans have the House, he would be facing a lot of problems because yeah. the first thing they announced was, well, we're not, you know, like all of a sudden, inflation. We're talking about no more inflation. Oh, no more, no more now it's, uh, crime. Right. Now it's like we want to go after Biden. But uh, what you say fits really well with the notion that there are there may be splits in there. And yes, they would say, no, that's not fruitful. And then, then they would marginalize the people that are trying to do that. But it's not going to be easy because it's more than, I think it's more than three or four. It's it's quite a few that are very MAGA driven, you know, to to help. Yeah, but there, there's more of them than there are, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I'm really feeling that they're going to be furious because not everybody's going to walk the line for them. Yeah, yeah, no, and, and then that, 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 that fits. It fits with. I'm panorama. almost feeling like complaints from their constituents. Like, wait a second. Like even from LA, I mean, you know, in New York, hey, we didn't put you in there to do this. We want you to work on the issues you promised you'd work on. We don't want you working on Hunter Biden. That doesn't make my paycheck better or the crime better. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah. Feeling like the people will say, "What the hell are you guys doing?" Yeah, that that it, it totally the the. Uh, Thank you, friend. Just looking at the when you look at the. The head of the beast, you know, McCarthy, it's pretty clear. It's pretty clear that he's got a very rocky road in 2023. Um, it does, it would be easier in 2024 if he gets that far. But the problem is that the way it is in 2023, he may not get out of 2023. He may just get, you know, thrown out or uh, or maybe he'll quit or I don't know. But it's, it's complicated as heck. No. But so, you would have seen real bad aspects with, uh, by the way, our president's birthday is tomorrow, right? The 20th? Yes, yes it is. Mm -hmm. So he's on the cusp of uh, Scorpio Satch. Right, but that's, that's a, uh, it's actually fine right now because Jupiter is at the end of Pisces. It's very supportive. Right. He seems degrees. like he's in a great mood. Yeah, I would, I mean, I, I would say that it's, he's, you know, the Democrats did exceptionally well. Uh, it would have been, see, in a way, it would have been better to have kept the House, except that if you think about it, the way these Republicans behave, they then set the stage for a potentially better 24 to throw them out. If you keep everything in Democratic hands, then you run against what's been happening. If anything at all goes wrong, they'll blame them. Yeah. They'll blame Democrats. And you get, you know, it's kind of like the way inflation happened, right? Inflation. Right is related to the pandemic, it's related to uh, world supplies, you know, the supply chain and so forth. So then Biden gets blamed for that. It's not his fault. Any president there would have experienced the same thing. So now in the next two years, there'll be some other thing. They could pin it entirely on Democrats because it'd be all Democrats there. But now it won't be all Democrats there. Now we're going to see what these guys are going to do. Well, and they're going to waste so much time in that anger. It's just going to make people tired. People are tired of it already. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So, so it may even be that that the reason Biden's chart is smoother is precisely because of this, which sounds a little bit contradictory because the expected thing now is that they're going to, you know, start the house and then Jim Jordan's going to be waving the thing and 
and Margie Taylor Green is going to be talking about space lasers and all that stuff. Oh, and they're going to stop funding Ukraine. Yeah, well, but then that see that the problem with that is that the problem with that is that there are a lot of people in the Republican Party that know that's a really bad idea, you know. So uh, if they start going down that path, I think they'll get a lot of resistance because. But she's up there speaking on behalf of everybody, like she's queen for a day. Thank well, you, not. Andy. Like she's they're queen not. for a day. I've never seen anything like it. Yeah, well, I mean, Upon yeah. my words, this is really going to be up. Notice how it always works out. You know, we may be upset. We may, you know, even them not picking Merrick Garland and allowing him to be on the on the SCOTUS. Look what happened. And it's all McConnell's fault. He insisted yeah. on putting those, which thus changed the abortion issue, which just kicked out everybody because that most of the states want abortion on the table. Right. But by the way, this also falls into that pattern that when we were talking a while back. Thank you, John. That a uh, number of people intuited. I know when I looked at the astrology, I said two to five years and some people said, oh, come on, that's uh, too long. But you see, we've kind of walked into it because it's going to take time because that's not going to change until you get both houses of Congress again and the presidency. You need to go in and pass legislation, probably overriding the filibuster. It's not going to happen now, not with the Republican House. There's yeah. no way there's going to be a national, no. no. So, but yeah. mark my words, they're going to they're gonna make idiot. They could have taken, the, they could have been a contender. And they're going to take this, they can't, they're not going to go in this and be, let's do this, let's work on this. They're just going to be all about, because they think we picked on, but it was a lot of Republicans too. They mm -hmm. think we were picking on their guy. Because he's always the victim. There, it's a hoax, I tell you. I've been found not guilty. I've been found clean. No, you aren't. You were still impeached yeah. times yeah. two. You know the one that when you said earlier that you heard you you sense you're picking up that Mueller might come back into the picture. I really pray for that because that's the biggest scandal. The way that was played, it was because Barr said, "Oh, nothing here." But as I've reminded people, the Judiciary Committee, when Republicans were in charge of the Senate, issued a report saying, yes, that uh, Hillary was hindered by the Russians and they were trying to help Trump. That's what the report says. They issued it and then they started tweeting the opposite because they understand their people never read reports, right? Well, no, they got hit by Trump. Trump said, you better change that language. Yeah, well, you know, uh, you better change the message, basically. With Trump, everything is the message because he keeps saying it was a hoax, it was a hoax. No, it wasn't. It was not a hoax. Yeah. It was it was yeah. real. That's what happened, right? But so, he's blaming. I mean, he's blaming Republicans going again. I mean, Democrats, and it's a lot of it is the Republicans. It's Republicans. It's totally Republicans. I mean, uh, uh, we know one recommended thing for people to look at is there's a. I think it's a it's a Showtime, uh, the Lincoln Project. They show you how they started and how they were going through the whole thing, including a lot of scenes during the election and and so on. And th those are all Republicans. You know, these are Republican men and women that were disgusted with Trump. And you see them hitting him really hard and angering and annoying Trump because he knew that it was getting traction. And there are people who in do it the stats and say that they probably appealed three or four percent of Republicans, which was the difference between yeah. Biden winning and not winning. Even Murdoch so, went against him. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, But totally do you, true. I don't see him winning ever as president but do you see him i mean this would be good for us if he gets in the oh yeah no i mean this is the other thing that i mean look at the guy's record and just think about him running in 2024 and what's that what that's going to do is instead of 82 million votes probably biden will get 90 million votes he'll get even more people because just the percentages are such that democrats when they show up always win by about five percent and this is what drives the republicans nuts and trump is well, they want to change the voting to 21 now because the young people are voting right. well good luck with that that's what i say <laughs> good luck with that one that's going to happen anytime soon <laughs> I mean, oh, no I way. so but i i really you know the way trump's chart is i'm really skeptical that he gets that far i'm I thinking think he's not going to get that far either no no and he he even has it hasn't hit yet, but he's got he's got health uh, connections that aren't good. The planets at different times get into these alignments that are very health related. Yeah. And 
you know, you got to believe that the way he lives his life and with the pressures he's experiencing, I mean, he can fake it all he likes, but I'm sure he's quite worried that something really bad is coming right, right. Right. So uh, I would be amazed, you know, if he got that far. But if, if he does go that far and he's going to run, I think he's the best person to run against. Like anyone else against Biden is a bit dangerous because Biden is getting really old and, you know, it's it's tricky. But if it's yeah, Trump... Biden, but but he just is, I mean, yeah, he slurs his words a little because he has that little speech impediment. But I look at everything he's getting done. It's just amazing. Thank yeah. you, Alicia. Yeah. He just exactly. is getting it done. But I'm going to tell you guys with our over 3,000 viewers, thank you guys for coming. Thank you very much. Um, we're honored to be here with you guys today. But I, I just feel, I don't know why I'm in such a good mood. I just feel like all of this is working in our favor, but I definitely feel, now listen, this Jack guy apparently can't be the one that puts out arrest warrants. It has to be Merrick Garland. He'll do the thing and then he'll give his recommendation and then Merrick Garland does it. I th I thought Merrick that Garland worked. was upset that now he's stuck between this idiot deciding to run for office and announcing it two years in advance. <laughs> People will be so tired of him by the time we get. I don't see him in it. I'm seeing something else happening. But I do see subpoenas. I see all kinds of drama. And I do see some of those people in Congress getting hit. Thank you, Terry. Wouldn't surprise me one bit because the fact is that that a, 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 quite a number of them were involved, including people like Marjorie Taylor Greene and Matt Gates. And well, why would they be asking for pardons? Just ask yourself that. I mean, well, why are they so anal about this? I tell you, she wrote this big thing today, Marjorie Taylor Greene, about how wonderful Trump is. I'll tell you, between her and, you know, by the way, I got a hit so strong. I know that Trump is talking to the one that just lost in Arizona. What's her name? Carrie Lake. I see him saying, she was just at Mar-a-Lago. I think he said, I'm going to have, just off the record, I'm going to have you as my VP. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, sure. So yeah. They, she's keeping it under her hat. He won't use Marjorie Taylor Greene. Oh, three go toes. For it. Go for it. I mean, that's like that. Uh, you know, a three-time loser and a, and a and a more recent loser. It's the loser. It's the loser ticket. Come on, that is so. <laughs> and they're going to be talking. Like I love how this works, right? They're going to be talking about the past. I mean, everything is what happened before. We got ripped off. We got jibbed. Where's the forward vision? You know, it's, it's Trump lives right. in the past. It's, it, Trump is um, he, he started out with "Make America Great Again," like we're looking back to when the 1950s, when when men were supreme or some such thing. And then uh, now it's it's a more recent thing. What happened four years ago? He's always telling you about all his greatest hits. You know, when he but used his to, thing when he announced he's president, still "Make America Great Again" and again and again. Sure. Yeah. Make it. But make it I, when you looked at Merrick Garland's chart, how does he look? Well, Garland, the thing with Garland is that it also gets easier for him on account of being a Scorpio, but he does have some complications where it's probably better. For, what he did is smart to put in a, a, a different prosecutor because then it gives him cover. So there is much less appearance of bias and so forth. And um, so overall, it's it's better, though, than it's been because it, the period leading up to this or rather going up to the spring of next year, the Saturn is misaligned and it's it's a lot more complicated. So uh, it, get, it gets easier. Well, you know, come, listen to this too. I really think he's going to, you know, he knows how bad this is. And it makes him nervous because he was the ex-president of the United States, but it's bad. And so there's a good percentage of this country that still loves him. And it's like, how do I tell these people? And then now he says he's going to run for president again. He's not U.S. citizen. He's now possible candidate for president. So it's yeah. really put Merrick Garland in the bind. Yeah, no, it's true. And that's probably why Merrick Garland put in the special counsel. Right, but, but the special that, counsel's but that, not, no, he's just going to get, he's going to go right towards it. Right, but he, but also the thing is that is that it's almost like you could guess if Trump hadn't announced, then maybe Merrick Garland does it himself. Now he hands it off, but he's handing off all the papers. He's giving this guy, look, here's what I got. 
It's not like like Jack Smith has to go in and spend, you know, months gathering and interviews evidence. and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Because I mean, evidence is evidence, and uh, prosecutors just look for ways to. And this guy, he got a, some CIA guy. He'll Democrat or Republican. He don't care. He'll get you. That's so listen, right. did you see PBS had Bill Barr on? Yeah, what did he say? Said, on based one. on what I know, that's a he, good one. He, it's very likely the president will be uh, President Trump will be indicted. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing. You know, whatever you can say about Barr, is he's at least clever enough to know, even though he was doing all kinds of you know unethical to probably even illegal things when he was um, he sure was, general, and he, and he, just, he tried to destroy Mueller. Right, but he knew he was quite. He knew that going with Trump on that insurrection was a really bad idea, and he didn't go there. He backed mm -hmm. off because I think he's, you know, he's got enough brains to know I'm not going to do this because then I'm, yeah. I'm going to end up in trouble. Like people like Mark Meadows and and these other guys, you know, I think they're going to get in trouble because I do you're not I allowed do. to do that kind of stuff. You know, I do too. it might be as some, maybe not jail time, but it might be that they say. Uh, based on what is it, the Fourteenth Amendment? You can't run for office. You were part of an insurrection. Yeah, well, that that would be. You mean for Trump? Not for Trump. For uh, uh, well, for Marjorie the Taylor Green and all of them. Yeah, yeah it's possible. the Constitution. If you're part of an insurrection, you can't run for office. Yeah, they're very possibly, very possibly, undoubtedly. Yeah, I mean, this kind of thing. I mean, what people have to realize is that. I mean, think about it, right? You've got a country that's been around. Uh, almost 250 years, and if you allow someone to just go in and try to overthrow the government, and you don't do anything about that, that country is not going to survive. You know, you're taking right. the rule of law and throwing it out the window. And so, the people that say they've put DOJ in an impossible bind because they have to do it, otherwise, there's no way to hold up the, yeah. the system, right? So, yeah, that's that's what it is. And and not, don't be surprised if you see the entire group. People like Roger Stone, this guy Bannon. There's probably more on him. Oh, uh, Bannon! Oh, what a pig that guy is. Yeah, I mean, he's already isn't he going to be reporting to jail for a while? Uh, yeah, so. but he's oh, he was so furious at what you know. This is all a hoax, and this you know, it's it's terrible. Listen, I posted on my YouTube. A, I don't know if you saw it. Uh, a, a saying that President Ulysses S. Grant said. Check this out. He wrote this in September of 1875. Listen to this. If we are to have another contest in the near future of our national existence, I predict that the dividing line will not be Masons and Dixies, Dixons, but between patriotism and intelligence on one side, superstition, ambition, and ignorance on the other. Perfect. And you Perfect. know, his wife, Julie, Julia, mm -hmm. she dreamt before he before the Civil War, she was sitting among with him and some friends. She said, I had a dream last night. Ulysses became president and everybody was laughing. But yeah. it's, it's yeah. amazing that I, I got a terrible crush on Ulysses S. Grant. I read anything, his work. I see any show about him. I'm just consumed with it. But I yeah. wanted to ask you about the... Um, the uh, Supreme Court, apparently there's more information coming out about a leaker um, on a, a, it, what you guys, what was it about? Um, Minnesota gas is 359. It's like still 579 out here. Yeah, still more than that. Um, That's cheap. Wow, you guys are lucky. <laughs> so there, did you happen to look at maybe Thomas or anybody lately or? No, the only one, okay, I know that Thomas, uh, you know, this thing that he had um, a while back, he had some health problems. Right. And that he's not not out of the woods with that yet. But beyond that, I'm, I'm not getting anything around. You know, some people are thinking he would be getting into some kind of major trouble. I, I don't I don't get a sense of how that would work. No, listen uh, to this. What was my prediction? I don't know if you did the same. I felt strongly, not only his health, but I felt he was going to have to step down because of something with his wife. Now think about this. We got Jack in there now. And if Jack is going to get into the insurrection, he might bring it out loud and clear that the Justice Thomas wife was in the middle of this. Good point. I mean, the thing needs, is that, yes, she needs yes. to be addressed. 
Very true, because the thing is, I can almost see this guy as time passes, he'll focus on her because she did some pretty strange things. And as soon as you start doing that, some other person will come in. You know, investigations are, are lethal when you've done things. I mean, if you haven't done anything, then then maybe nobody pins anything on you. But when you've done things, and she was really out there on a limb. That woman was a bit cuckoo, you know, sending. A they say she's crazy. Well, I would say a little bit at least. Yeah, there's a there's a kind of a. It doesn't surprise me she was part of a cult. You know, she just gets drawn into some pretty crazy thinking because you think about that uh, late 2020, what she was doing, trying to keep Trump in office without any evidence, without anything. It's always almost like she was, you know, reading information in some, you know, backward website somewhere. I wonder how upset she is that the, the Republicans didn't take the Senate. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure that uh, uh, very upset because the more the more control they would have had, the easier it is to to you know keep a lid on things. The other thing, by the way, is that keeping the Senate means Biden can continue to appoint judges, which, which oh, I think is, I know. Isn't that wonderful? is really helpful because you got to balance out you know the fact that Trump appointed a lot of judges, so at least you get you know a representation in the country, so you don't get all right wing. You know, you don't get too many Eileen Cannons, you know, in there that. So what do you think about, uh, I don't think Herschel Walker is going to win at all. No, I, I think, I think that, uh, that it's going to be Warnock and, uh, yeah, I think, I think the Democrats will Warnock have, getting in there very comfortably. Yeah, for he's not, like, in fact, Walker, I see Herschel Walker getting less votes. That's yeah, very, very likely. Out. Very likely. Like he, he's one that you can see, I don't have time to read either one, but you can see how, with uh, Warnock is in a nice range and Walker is not. He's got Saturn on his son. And the last thing you need when you're trying to win something is Saturn too close to your son, especially when you're a bit of a dummy like he is, because he's really, some of the stuff he does, I, I heard recent commentaries about werewolves and vampires. And you listen to the guy, you think, what are you talking about? What I feel sorry for him because the guy, anybody with some sort of class would have kind of gently taken him aside and removed him off the stage. But they're pushing him up there, and they know the poor guy isn't right. Yeah, yeah. But I, I feel mean, sorry for him. Who, who did that though? Who was responsible for Herschel Walker? Trump. Yeah, Trump. You know, and you know, by Trump the way, that someone he can just say, "Here, boy. Here, boy." Yeah, yeah. No, it's, Trump thinks that if someone has been on TV, they're automatically sort right. Of, but, Thank you. It's in the music. She's asking if Marjorie Taylor Greene will be. Uh, have to be addressed on those government loans she took with PPP. Oh, we're not going to give money to Ukraine and don't look over here with the money we took from the United States government yeah. for big business. She's one that I, I wish I had a birth time for. I only know the birthday, but even with the birthday, there's what is she? There. What's time? Uh, I think she's Gemini, which, you know, Gemini people, the, the dark side of Gemini is they think they can, just say things, talk their way into things, talk their way out of things. That's what Trump does. Trump is Trump all is about Gemini, yeah. communicating and messaging. I mean, I'm not saying every Gemini is like this, obviously, because it's, it's always like two sides of a coin. But the dark side of it is when, you know, the messaging is all corrupt. And yeah. he is both corrupt and, I mean, incredibly ignorant. She says, you know, she was trying to say Gestapo and she said Gaspacho. I mean, Jesus, like read a book, lady. Come on, at least. You know. Oh, and that Bobert's coming back in. I could have swore she wasn't going to win. But, you know, you guys, you know, I got all these hits. Now, you know, I'm not going to try to make any. I apologize for getting the wrong hits. Apparently, the gal that does my um, record said I was 75% right on governors. Depend. We got to wait for um, see who wins, I think, like you said. Uh, Herschel Walker is going to lose, but that might be 70%. But last time I was 90%. But anyway, but that doesn't matter. I have a feeling that maybe those people will be remote. And you know what else? I just, when you were talking and I get those hits sometimes, you know, out of the blue, I felt like a, within a year before Biden leaves, within two years, there's going to be a huge scandal with the Supreme Court. That wouldn't surprise me. I, I mean, see a lot of commotion going on. It could I mean, even be just something. Uh, I see people running around. It's crazy. It's almost like two of them go down at the same time and Biden can put two in 
Oh, they're going to be upset because they won't want Biden's picks. <laughs> well, I mean, alone on when you when you see a, an institution where the wife of one of the judges, who is, by the way, really partisan, I mean, he's always looking for some way to help out any way he can. And when she's acting the way she's acting, that's pretty scary. I mean, uh, talk yeah. about talk about, you know, corruption in front of your eyes. I mean, conflict of interest. I mean, it, so that would not surprise me one bit, you know, to see some problem develop. Yeah. Maybe. And it could even be like Jenny Thomas is in trouble. And then oh. Thomas, which he should be in trouble. But I feel that other guy's in trouble. Who, Kevin? The one that wrote that horrible thing about. Oh, Alito. Alito. Yeah, something with him is coming up. I don't know what it is, but I could feel chaos. And I feel almost like he's forced to stand down. Alito, Alito's on Aries. Alito, uh, if I were looking at that, I would, well, I'd have to look a little more closely. I'm just saying the thing that pops into my mind is when you're on Aries, it's when Saturn gets there and it's after the next election when he's there, you know, because right now it's, it's curious. Alito, uh, when he passed this thing and he became the darling of the right, that's the Jupiter cycle over his son because he's an Aries. Right. And, that's and also, he, as that Water Lily just said, he's the leak. Someone was leaking to, to the public about right. even even that letter about how they were going to vote on Roe versus Wade. Alito? Hmm. Yeah. Wow, There's that something that just came up. Alito was part of some other leak that happened. So they're showing that he's a leak. That would be quite You know, the, the Supreme Court tries to not even look out. They just, they gather everybody in and don't, just don't pay attention here. You know, like that Wizard of Oz with the wizard. Don't look behind that curtain. Yeah, And yeah. There, something's going to open up the curtain. I'm telling you, something big is going to get ready to happen. Yeah, you know, and yet the Supreme Court, as flawed as we've seen, they've still denied Trump's, you know, those those Hail Marys that he throws where he, he asks for a, a ruling that just makes zero sense. They're not going to go that far. So you, you have to give them something they can work off, like, for instance, when they pass gun legislation that is obviously unwise and they should be, you know, use a little more discretion. And then they say, no, no, anyone can just walk around New York or whatever with, you know, open carry. They'll do that. But if you go to them and say, like what Trump, you know, Trump tried to do the Aileen Cannon routine on them and they said, no, we're not going to even look at this. It's, it's yeah. Too, too hey, bizarre. what happened with her? Anybody knows? Is she still in the middle of this or... Well, you know what I remember about her chart is that it pops into my mind. This is really interesting because, you know, when you said January, right? So yeah. January, I'm going, okay, well, that fits the Trump thing for sure because he's in the range. But she, her January is, is pretty bad. Don't know why, just that she's got pressure then. And, you know, another person that has a really bad January is Tucker Carlson. I wonder why. <laughs> Thank <laughs> so you, Grace. We'll right? <laughs> oh, my God, you're kidding me. Because you know, you can imagine if something come, something really, you know, pushes into the rebel, the Republican agenda, he's going to be really uh, put off, you know, by by it because uh, that's what he's like. And he's constantly trying to. I just had them throwing defend. things out against Biden, and I saw Biden with a baseball bat, and <laughs> boom, hitting it out the park. <laughs> Every time they threw something, boom, hitting it out the park. But here's the one: you guys remember this one thing. If it gets to be too, if you start noticing you're feeling anxious and, and, and have anxiety at all, stop watching it. Okay. Just stop. I did four weeks or something without watching any news and it was nice. And then, and then I start watching when the, when everything happened and when something pops up, I'll watch it. But I notice it's better because here's the thing. They're going to do that. Donald Trump, he gets all that free press. Mm -hmm. It's like you guys need to ignore him. Just don't even listen to what he has to say. Ignore him, and you don't think we're going to hear about this Jack until the they'll be standing outside his office, running around like a bunch of crazy people for the news, you know. But I just feel that this Jack guy is just going to boom. That's it. Of course, we felt like that about Mueller too, but I think Jack has got more leeway. He's not going to be stifled. Because we saw, did you see Mueller at the at the hearing with Congress? Uh, oh, I did, yeah, I did. Mm -hmm. God, the poor guy was so tired. Yeah, the th thing with Mueller, though, is that he's a career civil servant, and he knew that 
because of his department's policies, he couldn't really come out and say what he would have said if uh, Trump weren't president because the Justice Department has this thing, this memo, whatever, that you're not supposed to indict a sitting president. So he was talking in riddles and he wouldn't come out and, you know. But he said, would you arrest him? I remember them saying, if it were you, do you think that Donald Trump should be arrested? And he said, yes. He did? Well, yes. I don't remember, but but it's, then it's correct. It's just that he couldn't, like, the thing was that in, in um, in uh, in the Congress presentation, he was not very effective. Like the way, for instance, Comey would have been, because Comey's a lot more of a you know a showman and he would have uh, presented it better. Mueller was a bit tentative, and that's when Trump, when he saw that, do you remember that this thing happened? And within days, he was calling Ukraine to extort them. Like he figured out, ah, these people can't get me. I'm just gonna go and commit another crime now. Right I now, interesting. Right. Here's another interesting thing, Trump around that time in 2019 that in astrology is something that happens every 30 years there's this lunation thing he was having a new moon every 30 years it happened right around the middle of 2019 look what he did he was committing crimes and really it was then that things started to downtrend because he got impeached in in 2019 then he got impeached in 2020 he lost the election everything is going south since then so that tells you that that beginning was a total crash you know and It'll just continue that way. And you you said, of course, I said it, it psychically, but astrology, you said he's really going to, he was getting away, getting away, getting away. And then boom, you noticed that he'll start trending down and he won't get away with nonsense anymore. Yeah, no. And 23 is bad. 24 is just as bad. 25 is worse. This doesn't end. This guy is cooked for the rest of his life. He's done. You know, I know that people <laughs> keep saying, oh, he's getting away with it. Believe me, you don't want to be in this man's shoes. Do not no, it that. must be no. terrible. It must no. be awful. No. Well, thank you, my friend. We've actually been on for uh, 52 minutes. Yeah, it's been, as, as always with you, it's always a lot of fun because we, you know, we're tuned into the, the same, you know. Well, we don't, we don't even ask for questions. We just start, it just starts True. coming out. True. There we go all true. kinds of what you and Mel and Sterling and all the it's just but a bing when we start chit chat we can't stop. Well, yeah. I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> well, three thousand five hundred sixty-seven viewers. Thank you, you Thank guys. You. Thank you, everyone. We Thank really appreciate y'all stopping by, and I'll definitely be back on. When are you coming back on? Um, I'll be I'll be away most of the Thanksgiving week, so I'll be back the following week. I'll probably even do a show Thanksgiving Day. Oh, nice. Eating a big old ass turkey leg. <laughs> but good. um um are you going away or are you you Yeah, I'm going away to to uh California. It's not that far away, but I mean yeah. I'm in I'm in Washington State, so Oh, okay. I'm That's not far. And I'm in California. So don't come down for the earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> what what earthquake? What are you are you seeing an earthquake? Oh my lord. <laughs> No, no. Uh, I just, I'm just teasing. By the way, we they, we're in the same, the, we're in the same uh, fault. You know, that fault. Look, if anything, there's even a worse fault up here that cuts right through the city. So it's not like we that if I wanted to escape it, I would go down to California. I'd have to head, head east pretty far. But this area is is tricky. So right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, it's very. Exciting. All right. Well, tell your family I said hi. I'm gonna be with my sister and my daughter and my grandson. And my sons. Excellent. Yeah. So, okay, you guys. Uh, uh, but I'll be back on. Uh, I, so, is Astrology Alert is your YouTube show? Astrology thing. Alert. Yeah, that's the one. And if they go there and they go to about, they can find out how to make an appointment. How's your appointments doing? Are you busy? I'm pretty busy. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm just about always busy. And yeah. So. Yeah, just, I had to stop. Just, I had to stop. Yeah. So. yeah, I know. All right, my friend. Thank you so much. All right, Bye, everybody. guys. Thank Bye, you. everyone.